Hey guys, welcome to Akash Biology and the topic that we will be discussing today is Tongue. So, as we know, tongue is a highly, highly mobile muscular organ that is, that is situated partly in the mouth and partly in the oropharynx. So, this is the structure of the human tongue. So, we can see this is the structure of human tongue and it is divided into three parts. So, first of all, there is a root. Second one is the body. And third one is the apex. So this is the the tongue is mainly divisible into three parts. First of all, root to which it is attached to the mandible and the higher bone. Similarly, the body where the taste buds are located, and the apex that is situated against the incisor teeth. So this the first teeth is known as incisor. So it is like it lies or behind or against the incisor teeth. So this is the structure of the tongue. Now we can see the tongue is divided into the two parts. In the front part and in the anterior two third and posterior one third. So this anterior, anterior two third and this one is posterior one third. So the line which divides the tongue into two parts, anterior and the posterior is the line. This is the imaginary line. Imaginary, this is the sulcus. That sulcus is known as Sulcus terminalis. So, the sulcus terminalis is a V-shaped, V-shaped structure that divides the tongue into anterior and posterior part. Now, at the just at the junction of the median line and the sulcus terminalis, there is a pit. Pit means a depression, and that depression is known as foramen siccum. Foramen siccum. So, what is this foramen siccum? This is the embryonic remnant of the thyroglossal duct. This is the embryonic remnant of thyroglossal duct. At some stage, it will form the thyroid gland in the embryo. But now it has become a remnant. So this remnant is known as foramen siccum. So in the anterior two third, we can see the tongue is lodged or the studded with only the papilla, whereas the posterior one third is not lost with papilla. It is lost with the lymphoid aggregates. And these lymphoid aggregates are known as tonsils. So it has got the evident lymphocytes and it has, it provides protections against various infections. It doesn't have any, uh, any resemblance with the taste. So the posterior one third is known as lingual tonsils. Lingual tonsils. And just on the sides of the lingual tonsils, there is a presence of palatine tonsils that is present on the palates. So the posterior one third has no papilla only tonsils that is lymphoid aggregates. Now coming on to the anterior two third. In the anterior two third we can see just front to the sulcus terminalis there is a circular circular papillae. Circular papillae with a central trench and the central trench is studded with the taste buds. And these taste buds are known as circumvallate, circumvallate papilla. So these papilla are the largest one, 10 to 12 in number. And in the center of the center or the in the center of this papilla, we can see there's a duct. So this duct has got op opening of von Ebner serous gland. Von Ebner serous glands open into the circular trench of the circumvallate papilla. So now coming on to the second one papilla that is present on the margins. So this papilla is known as foliate papilla. So these papilla are present at the margins and named as foliate papilla. And these papilla are not de well developed in humans. They are well developed only in cattle. So not humans. Means they are present, maybe present in very few numbers or they are not present because they are not developed in the humans. They are present only in the cattle. Third one is the filiform papilla that is present parallel to the V line that is the V line formed by the circumvallate papilla. So these are known as the filiform papilla. They are the name fili. So they are cone shaped and more numerous. They are numerous in the body. And fourth one is the fungiform papilla. Fungiform. As the fungi is dome shaped like the mushroom, so they are also the mushroom shaped. So these are most abundant near the apex of the tongue. And they are the most numerous one and the smallest. So the fungi form are the smallest and the most numerous near the apex. Now coming on to the taste sensations, 
on the tip of the tongue or the apex of the tongue it has got sensations of the salt and sweet whereas on the margins it has got taste for the sour and on the posterior it has got the taste for the bitter so these are the four taste sensation located in the various parts of the tongue now coming on to the this one is about the dorsal surface of the tongue this one is the dorsal surface now this one is the ventral surface in the ventral surface you can even imagine as this is the tongue so the tongue is grouped the tongue is connected to the inner mucosa by a long thread like a structure that is known as frenulum that is known as frenulum on the sides of the frenulum there are two swellings these swellings are known as sublingual caruncle caruncula and these have got the opening of the sublingual glands sublingual salivary glands and on the sides of the sublingual caruncula there is a opening of or there is a swelling of submaxillary caruncula that has the opening of the submandibular glands now coming on to the arterial supply of the tongue so the tongue is mainly the tongue is mainly supplied by lingual lingual artery lingual artery lingual artery external carotid is the main source it has got the source as lingual artery so lingual artery supplies the tongue now the root of the tongue is supplied by as the dorsal surface so root of the tongue is supplied by dorsal lingual artery whereas the body is supplied by deep lingual artery deep lingual artery now coming on to the venous drainage venous drainage so if the tongue is drained by lingual vein lingual vein veins now the apex is drained by deep lingual vein deep lingual vein and the body is drained by the body of the tongue is drained by dorsal lingual vein lingual vein so this all is about the brief review of the human tongue it has got two surfaces dorsal and the ventral the all of the structure are situated on the dorsal surface the ventral surface has got only the frenulum sublingual caruncula and then submaxillary caruncula on the sides of the frenulum we can see the deep lingual deep lingual veins as well this is the structure of the tongue so if i hope you like the video please like and tap the subscribe button thank you